my name's Arlene and I'm going to show you how to do simultaneous equations which are covered in the National Fried Curriculum. I'm going to do this with the help of a coat hanger. So we'll look at the equation we've got up here. So this is a quite a familiar one that you might have seen before where you've got a story given to you. Sometimes you just have the, question, the numbers and the letters but this time we've got a story. So we've got three avocados and five peaches cost £4.55. I'm just going to underline the A and the P there. And we've got four avocados and two peaches cost £4.20. And I'm going to underline the A and the P there. And usually what you get asked to do is to put these into, write them out as an equation. So the avocados, I'm going to call them A. So I'm going to call this 3A. And 5P. And that's going to cost £4.55. So that would be the first part in that question. The next one, again, I'm going to do very similar, but just to repeat it with the bottom one. So we've got four avocados, so 4A plus two peaches, 2P, and that's £4.20. Okay, now this is where the coat hanger comes in and if you look at how a coat hanger is shaped, it's like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a coat hanger around the bottom one and it looks like this. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to times everything in this bottom part by the 5 at the top of the coat hanger. So 5 times 40 gives me 20a plus 5 times 2p gives me 10p. 5 times £4.20 gives me £21. Now what I'll say at this point is don't worry if you found that a bit difficult to do right away in your head because you can usually do this type of question with a calculator as well. Now what I'll do is I'll draw an upside down coat hanger around the top equation. So this time we have all this here by the two this time. So this time the coat hangers like this. So this time what we do is we multiply the top one by the two. So the 3a times two becomes 6a. Still plus two times 5p becomes 10p. And 2 times £4.55 becomes £9.10. And again, don't worry about this. If you struggle to do that really quickly in your head, you can always do the working at the side or you might be able to use a calculator. So, at this point, what I'll do is I'll look at this bit here. And because we've got the same signs, what we have is same signs subtract. So we're going to use that one. So what we do is we draw this underneath. And 20A take away 6A gives me 14A. Positive 10P take away positive 10P, we've got nothing. And £21 take away £9.10 gives me £11.90. So 14 avocados are £11.90. So what I want to know is how much one avocado is. So this is definitely one you would probably need to use your calculator or you would need to do a division sum for. And as it happens, one avocado costs 85 pence. So that's good, that's fine. So what we then do is, we know one avocado is 85 pence. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick one of these equations and I'm gonna substitute that in. So I'm gonna pick the top one here, where three avocados and five peaches cost £4.55. And as an avocado is 85 pence, I'm going to replace this with 85 pence. Three times 85 pence is 
£2.55, add 5p is £4.55. So £2.55 add 5p is £4.55. So I'm going to take away the £2.55 from each side. So 5p is £2. And just to get 1p is 0 0.40 pence. So there we have it. A peach is worth 40 pence and an avocado costs 85 pence. Now that's probably, uh, that's one example. I'm going to use a different example this time. And just bear with me. So I'll do is I'll just put my green line back there and I'll keep these DSA and SS lists written. So not all simultaneous equation questions are a story. Sometimes you just have the, the two things that you've got to work out. So this is what this next one's going to be. I'm going to imagine that the two equations we have are 5x add 6y is 3 and 3x take away 4y is 17. So again we can use the coat hanger method here. So I'm just going to write these out underneath here. use my coat hanger again so what I'll do is I'll times the I'll do the flip it around here so I'll times the bottom one there by the number six so what I'll get six times three x is 18 x take away 24 y and when I multiply this out it ends up being 102 Do another upside down coat hanger. So it's all this here by the number four. So four times five x gives me twenty x plus four times six y is twenty four y and four times three is twelve. Okay, so this time because we've got different signs, different signs we add. So 18x add 20x is 38x. Negative 24 add positive 24, that just disappears and becomes zero. And then 102 add 12 is 114. So 38x is 114. So I know that x is equal to three. And then what I'm going to do, which what I've done before, is I'm going to pick one of those equations here and I'm going to sub my x into it. So I think I'm going to go with the top one this time. So we've got um, 5x add 6y equals 3. So 5 times 3 add 6y. 5 times 3 is 15, add 6y is 3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 15 over to the left hand side, so 6y is equal to 3 take away 15 which is negative 12 and y is equal to negative 2, so there we have the solution.
if you might have been asked in this equation this question to find the point of intersection between these two lines in which case there's your x value there's your y value and it would just look like 3 negative 2 okay well, thanks for listening and i hope this has been helpful thank you bye